Are you ready? I thought it was uh, another good good day of work. Um, you know, we provide opportunity to, to you know in these in these last couple of days to really you know, focus fundamentals. You know, go just get speed on speed, and uh, you know with, that's a, a you know, to get a bye week. You know, we cut down a little bit on the periods that we were out, but I mean the intensity, um, the, the amount of reps against each other. You know, we did a little bit of scout work, but not not much. We wanted we wanted to get the best speed we could. Um, you know, continue to focus on our, our strength, our conditioning, right? Um, you know, pushing that, and making sure we get a, uh, the proper workload for what we needed uh, for this week. But I appreciate our players and the competitiveness that they brought. I thought there was good good work on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, just trying to stress those areas of improvement that um, that have you know, held us back in moments in games, and uh, you know, just opportunities for us to continue to grow. So um, you know, I thought that was it was good to see. You've got some guys that have. That have been out, you know, trying to get them back into into the uh, into the fold a little bit. It was good seeing them take some positive steps, um, you know, through, throughout this uh, uh, this week. And they've got got to do a great job of getting treatment and uh, hopefully putting themselves in a position to uh, to be able to play here these uh, this next week or or here very soon. For some of those younger guys who have gotten a little PT, but not a lot, how beneficial is this time of year where you get a little more practice? No, I mean, I think it's huge. And, you know, we try to be very intentional in our developmental work with those guys anyways, uh, you know, utilizing Sunday nights, um, you know, and uh, how we do that. But, uh, you know, to get you know back-to-back -back days for guys to, to really uh, be thrown in, you know, we try to, some guys we've thrown them in with the first group just to see how they're gonna respond to it. Um, and, you know, some guys, you know, they, they prove to you that they're ready for more, and some guys you know, prove that you know they've got, got a lot of more work to do to, to be able to put themselves in a position uh, to, to impact. You know, because everybody wants to play. I mean, it's not we've got guys that are talented that just you know I think I might have mentioned yesterday just that, that they've got to continue to grow in their maturity of um, you know being able to handle the whether it's communication, the uh, you know, their preparation, all things that uh, that are that are there to to allow them to, to play at a, at a very high level, and so. Uh, you know, it's 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 a great week to be able to uh, to evaluate that, and you know, I think it's been a, a very productive week. We met with Pat yesterday. What have you seen out of him for the first four games? Pat Payton seems to uh, really kind of be going through some. Well, you know, I mean, I thought uh, you know, I thought he responded well um, this last week. I thought you know, Boston College, you know, he didn't play to the level that you know that, that he expects out of himself, um, and you know, he he challenged himself. You know, we challenged him, and. I thought you know, I thought in the Clemson game he played at a very high level, and uh, you know, you, but you see a, you see talent, you see ability, you see want to, um, and you know, if, if Pat will continue to, to push the way that you know that he's that, how he's responded. I mean, you know, I think the sky's the limit for him, um, but really, uh, I thought he came off just a, a really impressive game um, after you know kind of honestly a disappointing performance uh, you know, there the week prior. With Daryl. Is your understanding, like once the semester is over and the next one starts, he'll be eligible? Like, is postseason a possibility? For postseason him? will be a possibility for Daryl. Uh, well, no, postseason will be a reality for Daryl as we get to to uh, to that point. And so, um, you know, he's working. I've, I've been really proud of him. You know, I think he's getting good work. You know, he's he's approaching every day the way we want him to approach it. Um, you know, he's getting better. He's he's continuing to push. You know, he's he's trying to to. You know, go into every week as if he was playing, which you know it can be hard. It's hard for for a young man that you know knows that there's uh, you know that there's not going to be able to get on the field on Saturday, but still to to get their mindset and their approach that you know this is the most important rep of my life, and uh, you know, I think he's doing that, and uh, you know you see an improvement out there on the practice field, uh, and uh, you're just excited for what that's going to be when he's cleared to play. Um, you know, I do think it has an effect, and it's different, you know. I think it's affected, you know, I think it's had an effect on us. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it puts a, um, you know, last couple games, you know, teams have been aware of, you know, trying to trying to hold the game, hold the clock a little bit, and, um, you know, it just puts that much more emphasis of third down situations. And, uh, you know, that's where defensively, you know, we have not been as good on third down the last two weeks, which has allowed, you know, more time to, to be taken off the clock. And, you know, if that's, you know, it, as much as much as ever before, I think that, that emphasis has got to be, you know, you know, you've got to be able to execute in that moment. And, um, you know, that's where, you know, as offensively, you know, we've, uh, you know, 
you know, kind of how we equate things, you know, third, fourth downs. You know, we've been really good on fourth down this year. Um, you know, there's been some times we've had third downs that have come up just a, you know, a yard short or a couple yards short that, that you know, given us opportunities to be, be aggressive. And uh, we've been able to capitalize on that, for, you know, for the most part. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, you look at, co- you know, conversion downs, we're about 50%. You know, even though third downs were lower, we want to be better on that. Um, but, you know, we're still, we're still in that area. We can still improve in, in the things that we've looked at here this week. Um, and defensively, you know, we, you know, first two games, really, really impressive. And, uh, you know, we're probably the keys to, to, to you know, victory and, and really good performance. Um, you know, their second half, you know, the, the game against Southern Miss. Last two games, you know, obviously teams have been able to, to uh, uh, you know, extend drives uh, on those third down situations, and we have to be better. So, um, you know, we, we know that. It's been a, been a huge point for us, and, uh, you know, I'll have a good opportunity to go uh, get better at that here this next, uh, this next week. Good.